to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a third year, fifth grade teacher in West Michigan. I had to think about that because it is the morning and apparently my brain just is not processing clearly this morning, but I started getting ready and then realized I should set up my camera so I can say good morning and just kind of start off this vlog. So today is Tuesday. It is June 1st, so it is the day after Memorial Day, and I just am feeling really well rested from this weekend. We had a ton of fun, and now I'm ready to take on this week. Usually I really like Mondays in the classroom because I just feel like it's such like a fresh start from the weekend, and I feel like my students are always excited to see me which makes me feel good and yeah so anyways today my Tuesday will be like a Monday so hopefully it ends up being a good day today also I don't have any like meetings after school this week or anything like that and so it should be a pretty good week <laughs> so we have all sorts of things that we are trying to finish up right now in my classroom because it is the end of the year so we do have school all of this week we go until you know Friday this week just normal and then next week we have a pretty much full week we have a half day for students on friday um and then we have like field day and stuff like that next week and fifth grade graduation and all this stuff so next week will be a lot more weird this week will be fairly normal but we are working on some end of year projects I talked a little bit in my last vlog about how we're creating biome boxes for science and we're kind of tying that into writing as well. They've been working on a lot of writing with their research and it's just been a ton of fun. So my students are really excited to get started on those biome boxes. They've already done a bunch of research and they've created some Google slideshows and most of my students are still finishing up their slideshows so they will be doing that today but I've just been so impressed with all of the hard work that they've done and yeah so I'm excited to see the final products and I'll have to show you when I get to my classroom I have so many different materials for my students to use for their biome boxes and I'm just so so excited to see what they come up with because they are just so creative and I know it's going to be amazing so yes I have all sorts of materials for them a lot of things my mom donated and then I went to a couple dollar stores this weekend and just loaded up on anything and everything I could think of and honestly it was kind of expensive but also I just felt like it was like my donation to my students I don't usually do like end of year gifts or anything like that I don't know if I will this year I usually will do something like a bookmark or um, some candy or something like that maybe if like I happen to have it on hand so we'll see maybe I'll do a little something like that last year I did do a gift for my students but it was kind of like a last minute thing because we were doing our pickup day and I wanted them to have like a little something from me so I guess I say I don't normally do gifts but I have done gifts in the past it's just not like an every year thing or something that I feel like I need to do so I am the gift like my students get to enjoy me every day <laughs> no I'm just totally teasing but okay what did I do with my mascara I am worried that the cat maybe is laying on it. So I am getting ready and right here I have Jack just hanging out and I was watching YouTube videos so I have my iPad behind him. But yeah, he just kind of hangs out back here. You can see I have like a random book box that fell over back there. You know, you get to see the behind the scenes. Oh, are you gonna bite me? That's kind of rude. That's a little rude, that's a little rude. He didn't want me to touch his belly. Okay, so anyways, oop, hello, hello, there we go. Jack, I really think that you're on my mascara. So does that mean I just have to use a different kind today? He's a little grumpy, so I guess I'll just use a different kind. Luckily, I have more than one mascara. So what are you up to this week? Are you done? When is your last day? I would love to know. A lot of you told me your summer plans on the last video, and it was cool seeing like what everyone was doing. A lot of people said they were doing summer school, and a lot of people said they're just kind of taking the summer to exist and relax and hopefully be rejuvenated for next year, which I think both are totally so valid and it's just such a personal decision like what you want to do with your summer so yes I as my, I mentioned in the last video I'm not doing summer school or anything 
but I'm still planning on working on, you know, doing YouTube videos and other stuff that I can do around the house, which I'm really excited for. So let me know what kind of videos would you like to see this summer? I'm definitely going to be doing classroom setup videos. I'm super excited for that. And maybe just like prep for my new classroom videos too. If you guys would still like to see like vlogs and day in my life type videos, definitely let me know and I can continue doing that. I actually think it's really fun to watch people work from home and do those types of vlogs and like productivity type vlogs and stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely, yeah, just let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you would find interesting. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair a quick moment and then I will check in with you at some point, probably before I leave for school, but maybe once I get there, who knows. So see you when I see you. Okay, so I am going to make some breakfast. I think I'm just gonna make like eggs and toast because it sounds good and it's easy. So that's the game plan gonna make an egg. I have the eggs right there. So here we go. Okay, so I just got to school and I realized there's a couple of things that I do want to prep this morning, which luckily I have my planning first thing in the morning, so I have some time, but there's just a couple of things that on my quick drive here, I was like, oh yeah, I probably should do this. Oh yeah, this would be nice if I did this and just stuff like that. So little odds and ends that I think I'm going to take care of this morning. So for example, the 40 book challenge wall is now taken down, as I mentioned in my last vlog, and I decided I want to make like little certificates for the students who met their goal of 40 or more books and tracked those on the wall. So I want to make up some certificates probably just like in PowerPoint or maybe I'll see if I can find something on Teachers Paid Teachers that would work and yeah just like little stuff like that so nothing that I like have to do but just some things that I think would be nice if I did so I'm gonna walk you around really quick and show you all of the materials for the biome boxes so let me grab you off the tripod and then I will show you that okay so here are the materials that i have for the biome boxes i have a ton of different stuff so hopefully all of the kids will be able to find something that will work for them so yes a lot of things are just from the dollar store my mom donated like a ton of rocks and shells and then also over here i have a ton of scrapbooking paper set up so my mom donated all of this she used to be into scrapbooking but she said she hasn't really used any of this in a long time so she donated it which was super super nice so lots of different things going on over here and then also these boxes were left in the room by a previous teacher and I thought they might work if students aren't able to find a box at home so of course I can't get it out with one hand let's see <laughs> maybe the corner one there we go so these are really small boxes but they will work in a pinch I told students that they could bring shoe boxes or bring a couple of shoe boxes if they're able to donate one to a friend but if we don't have enough boxes then these will work as well so Here's my hand like for reference. So these are definitely smaller than a shoe box, but also they'll work. And luckily then I didn't have to try to get, you know, like a ton of shoe boxes for all the kids. So that was nice that I already had those. So I'm really excited to see what the students come up with. And then I showed this in my last vlog, but I put up this little bulletin board yesterday with a bunch of different vocabulary terms from the biomes and the ecosystems unit that we're working on. This is from Teachers Pay Teachers. And then I think on either side, I'm going to put either pictures of their biome boxes or pictures of them working on their biome boxes or whatever. We'll see what I come up with. I moved a bunch of the bins that were on this counter so we'd have some more workspace and I just moved those on to the little shelves that I have over here and then over here and then also I'm going to do this as a read aloud today if you have not read this book I highly recommend it I believe I got this on first book so I got it highly discounted okay so I shared about this book on Instagram as well and my friend Joe Thornton who is super awesome you might know him as Jamboard Joe he's great he actually shared with me that it's also on epic so if you have an epic account you can actually read it on here which is really cool I'm not gonna go through the whole book obviously because you know copyright <laughs> but I did want to share this with you as a free resource as well so uh, the reason why I wanted to share this with my students on Monday well Tuesday actually because we weren't there on Monday was because this took place on May 31st and June 1st and so it was a timely remembrance of this tragedy and I just want to make sure to share it with my students because I don't remember ever learning about the Tulsa Reese massacre in my classes it's possible that it was maybe brought up but I do not recall and I feel like I would remember so I just want to make sure that 
I'm incorporating an accurate history with my students and telling them about things that maybe um, aren't as often taught in schools. And so anyways, just something that I wanted to make sure to share with my students and pretty cool that this is on Epic as well and you could like assign it to your students or I would recommend doing it as like a read aloud and then being able to discuss it as a group as well. So shout out to Joe. I will link him in the description box. He's super awesome. I love following his account. So definitely check him out. He is super great. And I really appreciated him sharing that this is available on Epic. So super cool. So I just bought a product from Read Like a Rockstar on Teachers Pay Teachers that I will link below that I'm using along with this book. Okay, so this is the product that I just mentioned and I just wanted to show you like a screencast of it. Definitely check this out. I will link it in the description box below. It's called Black Wall Street for Primary Learners, but I use these types of products with my fifth graders all the time and they work really well. So I honestly feel like any grade could definitely benefit from this. So I actually got this from Education Within Aprons, Teachers Pay Teachers, but as I'm sure you know, she collaborates with Read Like a Rockstar fairly often and they just come up with the most incredible products. And yes, I am just like always so impressed. So like every single teachers pay teacher sale and otherwise too I like always end up buying stuff from them because I just like love everything So i'm also excited that i'll be able to use this with my second graders in the future too because it's like technically meant for k through two So definitely check this out and check out their other products as well. They're just like really really awesome resources over the weekend, I read this book that my principal recommended to me. It's What Great Teachers Do Differently, 17 Things That Matter Most. And it was okay. I didn't love it, to be honest. There were some parts of it that I definitely disagreed with, but there were some parts that I found really helpful as well. A lot of the things were kind of common sense things, so I'm not necessarily recommending this book, but I did want to share it with you because I just finished reading it. And I think I'm going to give it back to my principal today because it's not really one that I feel like I would come back to over and over again. I'm sure he would let me keep it if I felt like it was something that I would come back to but I just don't think it is so it was okay but like I said nothing really groundbreaking and I feel like I've just been reading so many teacher type books that I become a lot pickier if that makes sense and then also back here I have dragons love tacos because one of the second grade students who is a cousin of one of my students had asked me if I had this book and I told her that I would look for it and then send it down so she could read it in her class and then bring it home and read it as well so her teacher had the second one in the series which is Dragons Love Tacos 2, I believe. I don't know if there's any other names on to it, um, but she really enjoyed that one and she asked me if I had the first one. So I'm going to make sure that I give that to her this morning. Usually I see her in the morning when she gets off the bus. So I have this set out so I don't forget to give that to her. And yeah, I think I'm gonna work on those certificates. I have a little over half an hour until students come. So I think I'm gonna try to just like whip those up really quick so that way I can send them to the printer during my planning time and then get those all taken care of. So I will probably check in with you after school, possibly during recess, but probably after school. So I will see you when I see you. Okay, so this is what I came up with for our 40 book challenge award. And I think this is the first time I've printed in color at school all year, I'm pretty sure. So anyways, I don't feel too bad about printing in color for just one time. And now it's like the end of the year. So that'll probably be the only time that I do it. So I just whipped this off in PowerPoint. This is what it looks like in PowerPoint. And I thought I would quickly go through and show you where I got everything. So this border is from a teacher's pay teacher seller. I got it in a bundle this morning. This clip art is from TPT as well and this was a freebie the font up here for the title is AG joy of missing out solid and then down here this font is a BN mid-century so those are all of the fonts that I used and I think it turned out pretty cute so I'm gonna fill these out a moment while my kids are in Spanish and then get a few more things ready and then yeah that's really all that's going on now okay so now it is many hours later it is actually almost eight o'clock. I'm not really sure how that happened. I actually do kind of know how it happened. I was tired. I was like so tired. I got home and I seriously crashed. I saw Jack. He's sitting right here. You can't see him, but he's right there. I saw Jack and I just knew I needed to cuddle. And I was like, I'm just going to lay down for like a minute and cuddle. And that one minute turned into 120 minutes, like so fast somehow. So I don't even know why, like, I don't feel like I really like exerted myself at all at work today. Or I mean, obviously teaching you like somehow manage to always, you know, exert yourself, but I didn't do anything super like intensive, labor intensive. I like walked around the room like normal and that was pretty much it. And I didn't stay up super late last night, but for some reason I got home and I just crashed. So 
I finally woke up like two hours later and then just scrolled through Instagram and checked my emails and did all the things. So now I'm finally starting to feel like alive and rejuvenated again. So I think I'm about to go on a nice long walk. So that way I can get out some of this energy and listen to an audiobook and all the fun things. But I did want to share with you before I leave that I just got an order in from Thrift Books. So I wanted to quickly share with you what I got. So the first book that I got, I seriously can't believe I don't own this one already. Somehow I don't though. I don't think. At least I wasn't able to find it in my classroom. This is the book with no pictures. This is such a fun book. If you haven't read this before, you definitely need to. It's just like silly and funny and kids love it. And honestly, I might even read this to my fifth graders before the school year is over because I'm sure they would get a kick out of it as well. So I got that one. And then also I'll show you this one next. This one is Path to the Stars, My Journey from Girl Scout to Rocket Scientist. And this one was a bit of a fail because I thought it was going to be a picture book and it is not, but I'm still going to hold on to it. I heard this being recommended in the book En Comunidad, which I just listened to the audible version, audiobook, whatever of it recently. And I talked about it in my last vlog, I believe. I'll pop up a picture of it on the screen right now. I really enjoyed that book. I work with mostly Mexican American students students and that book focuses on teaching Latinx students and so I definitely found a lot of lessons to be applicable to the students that I teach and I'm just really excited to use some of those strategies in the classroom and just make sure that I'm honoring my students traditions and culture and language and just really celebrating them for who they are so anyways yes got that book and then the last one I am excited to read as well even though it looks super boring just by the cover this is called making content comprehensible for English language learners the PSYOP model. So my principal recommended this. And so I went ahead and ordered this book and I'm excited to read through it and hopefully get some ideas for my classroom. And also he was talking about maybe sending me to a PSYOP training this summer, which I would totally be all about. So hopefully we can figure that out. I kind of did a little bit of digging and wasn't able to find any training. So if you were trained on the PSYOP model, let me know. I don't really know anything about it except for that my principal was hyping it up. So hopefully I'm able to do that training this summer. We will see. But yes, for now, I think I am going to go on a walk so I'm gonna go grab my little backpack put my hair up in a ponytail maybe grab some water and then I'm gonna head out I think I might walk to the beach I don't know we'll see what happens but anyways I will see you probably on my walk I'll film some little clips so see you right now <laughs> It is a few days later now. I haven't really picked up my vlogging camera a ton this week just because, I don't know, it's the end of the year. You know, I'm sure if you're a teacher, you understand there's just like so much going on all of the time and I am tired. <laughs> so anyways, we are hanging in here, but yeah, there's just like so many different things going on because my students are all trying to work on pretty much just like independent work most of the time and trying to finish things up. So... Yes, I think I'm going to finish up this vlog this morning, but I do have some things I want to show you before I end the vlog. So my students have been working so hard on their biome boxes. I know I've been talking about them so much, but I'm just like so proud of them and the things they've come up with are so neat. So I wanna share a couple of those with you and I'll just make sure that the students' names aren't on them and stuff and it doesn't have any handwriting, so it shouldn't be like identifiable or anything. So they have been working so hard on those and a lot of them chose the same few biomes. Like I have a lot of students doing the ocean or marine biome. I have a lot of students doing the coral reef and a lot of students doing the rainforest. I think those are the main ones. So I will share a couple of those with you, but they are turning out so great and the kids have just really been enjoying making those. So I'm just so excited to see all of them once they're finished and I'll definitely have to share like more footage of them too next week. So anyways, let's go look at some of those biome boxes. Okay, so this one is super neat. This student is so creative and he brought a bunch of like Legos and stuff from home and I thought this was so neat. They have to show a consumer in their ecosystem and so he showed his consumer by having this, what is that, crocodile alligator? I'm not really sure. Eating a fish and then he used red paint to make like blood around there and I just think that looks so cool and then he used a bunch of different materials around here. So this is like tissue paper and then he painted the top as well and use these little like 
wormy things from like wrapping gifts. He used some different rocks and then he told me the story that this alligator crocodile, I should know, but I'm not sure which it is, <laughs> is trying to protect her eggs. So those are the eggs back there and those are beads. And like, oh my gosh, just so, so neat, so creative. So it's just been really cool seeing like what the kids have been coming up with. And let me show you a couple more. Okay, so here is another one. I'm just covering up a student's name right here, but this one is really cool. This is the marine biome, and it's just really neat to see what the kids have been coming up with. So there's that one. Here's this one over here. Again, super creative. They made a waterfall on the side right here. The student brought in this like paper from the back because he said his little brother got like a dinosaur toy or something, and the box had that paper on it, so he brought it in and like cut it down to size and stuff, and that's just super cool. And then this is all modeling clay that he was using. This is super cool over here. And none of the students are quite done yet, but they've just been working so hard and it's just like so neat what they've come up with. So I'm like so proud of them. So it's neat seeing like what they've ended up doing. Also earlier this week, one of my students just came back from visiting a family member across the country and she brought me this cute little Las Vegas magnet. So I stuck it on my little school fridge and then this cute little teddy bear. Or is it a teddy bear or is it a dog? It has long ears, so I feel like maybe it's a dog. But like, how stinking cute, come on. So I just have these like chilling back here and then this is on my fridge. So, so fun when students just have like little treasures for you, like I always just love that. And um, a bunch of my students this year, I have like such sweet students and they write me like little notes and stuff. So I have one student, she watches my videos, so shout out to her. But like every day she writes me a little note during our writing time and brings it up to me, just telling me like about her life or like what she's thinking about or whatever. And yeah. She's super sweet and I know she watches like every vlog, so I'm not gonna say her name obviously, but you know who you are, student. Shout out to you. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you, biome boxes and then talk to you a little bit about the week. Overall, it's been a really good week, so hopefully we finish strong today as well. And yeah, then it's the weekend and this is my last weekend of being in school because next weekend it will be summer break. Okay, so my camera battery just died on my Canon M50. So I switched over to my G7X, which is my old camera. And luckily I happened to have that in my purse. So we'll use this for now, but I apologize because I'm sure like, you know, I'm sure it looks different than it did a moment ago, but oh well, we'll roll with it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I have lots more videos coming soon, so turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. I have a day in my life planned that's coming up soon, and then I also am going to do a last week of school vlog or a last day of school, I haven't quite decided, and then I have summer stuff, so lots of fun stuff going on. So yes, definitely make sure to turn on that post notification bell and subscribe if you are not subscribed already, and that is all from me. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.